back up. U.S. Embassy Security, Winslow's office, Joanne speaking. Mr. Winslow, please, it's urgent. I'm sorry he's already left for the day. May I help you? Colonel Rappaport has been murdered, and I've got evidence on film. I need to see Winslow right away. All right, I'll see if I can get a hold of him. Where may I contact you? Uh, if I'm not at my hotel, I'll be at the arena. All right, I'll see what I can do. Okay. What was that all about? Something about Colonel Rappaport's assassination. Yeah, uh, she left right after the fight. Driver? Yes, ma'am. Do you know the Otani Club? No problem, I know the Otani. Listen, can you do me a big favor? Can you please make a delivery there for me after you drop me off? Sure, I can do it. There's a dancer there. Her name is Sue, and she's a friend of mine. Can you please give her this film and just tell her Christy will come and pick it up as soon as I can? Please? Thank you. What do you think, Carino? Black Brigade. Same MO. Mr. Winslow, somebody removed a film from the camera. Well, either she hit it, or else someone else beat us to it. Take a print. All right. Did she have a family? Sister in Los Angeles. Let's give her a call.
Rendiros. Esto es la última oportunidad. Desarmar las armas. ¡Hijo de gran puta, coño! Okay, guys, let's move it! What's going down? Drug busting. Some real crazies. I've got two cops down, and get this. Gas masks. Fucking gas masks. Gas masks? I think I'll do this part. Hey, Cat, Shelly here. Sergeant Monahan says you can pick up the files you requested for from Ballistics by noon tomorrow. Just be there, okay? Katara Lang, this is Victor Winslow from the U.S. Embassy in the Philippines. I'm afraid I have some rather distressing news regarding your sister, Christy. You can reach me at 622-521-5711. going on? Not good. I'll take you some other place. No, I have to go to the embassy. Could be trouble. I'll take my chances, okay? told you all that we can. You told me all that you will. Look, you may be a cop in L.A., but 
This is Manila. We do things differently here. Now, I'm very sorry about what happened to your sister. But there is nothing you or I can do to bring her back. So why don't you just go home and leave us alone here to do our job? That's it? That's all you have to say to me? I'm afraid so. Thanks a lot, gentlemen. could become a problem for us. My condolences about your sister. She was a good tenant. Paid the rent on time. Very nice girl. How well did you know her? Did she have any friends? I never saw anyone. She was always alone. But, uh... But what? There's this lady. She has called several times. She was very insistent, so I finally had to tell her the bad news. What'd she say? Did she leave any messages or anything? Uh, no, she said her name was Sulu. And for your sister to follow her at uh, some club. Uh, I think the Otani. I, I don't know, I'm not sure. Sulu? Otani? Did you mention this to anybody else? No, uh, nobody has. I, I didn't think it was important. Probably not. Uh, lucky day and I feel it. And there you go, lady luck. Again? I'm not running up. This is the one, and I told you. Is that amazing? Yeah. Five, six, <laughs> six. <laughs> oh, it's my birthday. It's the best day of my life. Lady. Excuse me. Yes, ma'am. I'm looking for a woman named Sulu. Does she work here? Sure. I need to speak with her. Do you know where I can find her? She's right behind you, ma'am. Okay. Hi. No one allowed. Backstage. House rules. I need to speak with Sulu. Back door after show. Okay? I came alone. Hey, wait. Wait. Who, who are you? Where are you from? Wait, just a minute. Just, yeah, hold on. A second, please, wait. All I want to do is talk to you. Just where are you going? Come on. Hey, 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 hey wait up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, what? Look, that exhibition you put on back there, I mean, that was incredible. Can I give you some advice? Look, it's advice about Manila, you know, and how to work the streets and what you got to do. Look, I appreciate what you considered help back there, but I don't take advice from strangers. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I am not going to be a stranger for long. I'm telling you that. What do you mean by that? Well, I'm, uh, psychic. Intuitive. <laughs> I'm intuitive about those things, okay? I think that me and you, we are going to be good friends. Don't flatter yourself. Hey, wait a minute. Come on. You can trust me, for God's sake. Hey, my name's Joe Curlin. So my friends, well, they call me Alcatraz. Alcatraz? Yeah. Like the prison? Something kind of like that, yeah. Well, listen, Mr. Alcatraz. It's getting late, and I need to find an American Express office because I have no place to stay. I know where the American Express office is. Good. Then make yourself useful and show me. Okay. Are you watching? 
Hey, what you do, it's over on Burgos Street, right? But it's closed till morning. But listen, you can stay at my place. I'd rather sleep on the street. Hey, look, uh, you know, I don't want to bullshit, okay? Now, you stay with me. It's safer, okay? It's rainy out here. If I do anything to you in the middle of the night, if I'm an asshole, from what I've seen, you will kick the shit out of me, right? All right, so then you have nothing really to lose, okay? What the hell, right? Come on. Well, there's definitely one thing you're right about. I can't kick your ass. Listen, would you like something to wear? What you got? I got something really nice. Yeah? Well, let's see it. <clears throat> and where'd we get this, last girlfriend? No, no, no. This is, I found this. I don't wear left over. Yes. How well do you know my sister? I know all the fires in the I know the wins and losses, the strengths, the weaknesses. But well, who has the quicker legs, who has stronger arms? I can tell you anything that you want to know about any of the fires in the tournament. What, do you work for the tournament? Oh, no, actually, um, I bet on it. So you're a gambler? Everybody's in the tournament to make money, okay? I'm no different than any of the fighters in the ring, including your sister. Obviously, you don't know my sister. Hey, I think your sister was a great fighter, okay? I think she could have got all the way. I used to watch her. She could have won the whole tournament. I mean, you know, whoever killed her probably was really cool. Hey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. That was... Did she have any enemies? Well... Once you enter the Kubate, everyone's your enemy. It really could have been any one of the other fighters. So are you saying that someone from the tournament might have killed her? I'm not saying that. The police seem to think so. They're sniffing around, asking questions. It's possible it could have been one of them. I'm going to find out who killed her. You. That's right. Look, it's none of my business, OK? But that's the police job. Why don't you let the police handle it? You're right. It's none of your business. So where do I sleep? Over there. Where do you sleep? Over there. I thought I would join you. OK. Forget I even asked. I'm sorry. The deadline was a month ago. The tournament has already begun. I realize that, but maybe you can use me as a substitute or a, or a stand-in or something. As I've told you, it's too late. I'm sorry. Maybe next year, okay? Please, isn't there something you can do? Nothing. Thanks a lot. Do you think it's okay? Alcatraz. Alcatraz. This way. I just saved you from a cold shower. Yeah, great. Can you come back in 10 minutes or maybe you can come back in an hour? Come on. <laughs> Look, I need a big favor. All right. I need to get into that tournament. Where's it with you in this tournament? Are you crazy? You're crazy. Look, I went to see this guy de Vega today and he turned me down. 
Okay. He's Bye. a nobody. Look, I'm going to take you to Bayani, okay? He was your sister's instructor. Maybe he'll help you. It's a long shot, but I'm going to do that for you. Mr. Bayani, he was a great champion in his own time. Mr. Carrion was his promoter years ago. He helped Carrion put together the tournament. Well, what makes you so sure he'll be up there with us? I'm not so sure, but it's the best shot I can think of. Hey, does Bayani live here? Bayani, sir, he's inside. This is it? Yeah. Okay. What brings you here? Como esta pare, eh? Mabute. Listen, you remember Christy Lang, the fighter? Uh huh. This is her sister, Kat Lang. She's from Los Angeles. She wanted to meet you. Mr. Bayani. Kat wants to take her sister's place in the tournament. Now, the tournament officials say are saying that it's too late. Now, I know that you know them. Can you ask them to get her in it? I'm afraid. Why not? I just want to find out who killed her. Vengeance is not an acceptable motive for fighting in the Kubate. Well, if it's money you want, I'll pay you. Money does not interest me. Christy was your fighter. Don't you even care? <laughs> she can't, and this girl, she can do it. Please. Give her a chance. Can you handle these? You bet. I'll take you to Mr. Carrion. How nice to see you again. There is an old saying that the man should always walk with three things. Integrity, honor, and a beautiful woman. This Catara Lang, Senor Antonio Carrion. It's a pleasure. Madame? Please, sit down. Thank you. For whatever it's worth. Life sometimes carries certain unexplained mysteries. So, what can I do for you? Christie's death has left a vacancy in the tournament, and Miss Lang would like to take her sister's place. Carrying the torch for your sister? Well, something like that. Can you fight? I hold a third degree black belt in Taekwondo. Because of my high regard for Bayani, I will arrange a qualifying match this afternoon. 
I do not question your capability for fighting. But I must test your skills before we can grant your request. You're going to fight Montauk, last year's champion. It would be my pleasure. Today will be your unlucky day. Mr. Carillon, what do you think? We'll take it. Mabuhay ang Pilipinas! Mabuhay! Aking mga kapatid sa Tugo, we're now facing a new problem. Kay Kat Lang. Don't worry. I will take care of her in the arena. No. We can't attract any more attention to the arena. This job's for the Death Brigade. Manny, Ronald, bala kayo sa kanya. Now, you already told me to piss off once a day already, okay? Now, you just can't go on like this. God, this is such a beautiful city. Yeah. As long as you don't get too close to it. How long have you lived here? Long enough. Too long. What, did you grow up here? No, I grew up in the States. I drifted over here from Hong Kong about three years ago. Been dreaming about a way out ever since. So then why don't you just leave? <laughs> Dreams cost money. I don't have any. You know, I figure the money I make in this tournament should be enough. Enough for what? <laughs> You'll see. Wow. It's incredible. Yeah. It's a 56-foot catch sailboat. It's the best one around. I'm going to buy it, and I'm going to sail around the world on it. All by yourself? Well, that's the master plan, but... You want to come along? So, what's your dream? I don't really have any. All I want to know is who's killed my sister. Yeah, Louie. Yeah, it's Joe. Kerwin. Alcatraz. Listen, what's the odds on Cat Lang tomorrow? 50 to 1. All right, give me 5,000. Oh, come on. I know I owe you. Hey, I'm good. Lie? I, I lie to you? Come on! Oh, this has got to be a dream. Are you okay? Oh, well, yeah, I think I'm fine. One thing's for sure, I can't stay here anymore. Oh, come on. I don't want to hear that anymore. Where are you going to go? No one else would be safe for you. Come on. Look, I don't want you involved with this anymore. No. I already am involved, okay? It's, it's, it's not your choice, it's mine. Thank <laughs> you. 
How well did you know my sister? Not that well. When was the last time you saw her? Here. Do you have any idea why she joined the tournament? No, I don't. Look, I'm sorry, but I gotta go. to you. Hey, you were fantastic. I'm telling you. I want a lot of money in you. You know, you were the longest shot in there. Listen, I got some good news. Yes, I made a contact in the ring who can get me to Sulu. I'm on my way over there now. Yeah, what do you think, huh? Great. Go for it. All right, great. Look, will you do me a favor? Will you take care of her? I would consider it an honor. Yes, her cat's home. Thank you. Hey. All right, so uh, we go check it out. I'll see you, huh? Hurry up. Oh. Who's Sula? Just some woman my sister knew. Is Totoy Tigas up there? You don't speak English. Is Totoy Tigas up there? Yes, I know him. Oh, you know him? Great, okay. He stops. Thank you. I want that back. Here we go, here we go. Put it down, put it down. Put it down. Why don't you take my seat? Hey, como Hey, como esta pared? Hey, how you doing? You guys know Toto y Tigas? Toto y Tigas. What do you want? You Toto? Can I ask you something? Excuse me. Yes. I'm looking for a. Uh, Stripper. She used to dance at the Otani Club. I think her name is uh, Sulu. Do you know where I could find her? Yeah, she's. Price is right. Mm. I just five. Okay. You know, I'm losing badly. There's another five. To take a while. Yeah, well, I'll give you another thousand, you bring me the information. Will it take quicker then? No problem. No problem. A Sunday. Meet me in the cockpit. Okay? Yeah, okay. Be there, please. Good afternoon. This is Ixi Aquino with the latest newsbreaker regarding the response of Mr. Donaldson to the efforts of the Death Brigade to keep the American negotiators out of the Philippines. The death of Colonel Rappaport has been a terrible tragedy. The continued relationship between Americans and the Philippines is critical. World peace and the new order. I will not be bullied by a group of savage terrorists. I will remain here until such a time... Mr. Donaldson is a fool. Tomorrow he will realize, firsthand, the actions of savage terrorists will accomplish more than the empty words of self-serving politicians. We will draw for the honor. Donaldson's yours.
May naghahanap sa isa labas. Dali. Tell me where your telephone is. It's over there, sir. Thank you. What's cooking? Oh, it's chicken marsala with wine sauce, special aphrodisia potion. You'll love it. I got some vegetables, braised, all. Oh. <laughs> Sounds pretty tempting. We interrupt this program with a special news bulletin. Good evening. This is Ixi Aquino with the latest newsbreaker. Mr. Donaldson, special negotiator for the Americans, is dead. Mr. Donaldson was attending a concert at the Paco Park this evening when he was killed by a known assailant. Eyewitnesses claim to have seen a white Toyota car with plate number NGT-470, which may have been used as an escape vehicle. Please, 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 How dare you? You have no right to barge in here like this. You can cut the crap I know you put the hit on Donald's. He's lying, I assure you. I don't know what you are talking about. Don't give me that shit. I saw Lorda leaving your office last night. He's lying. You presume matters that you know very little about. I may be a lot of things, but I'm not a murderer. Now will you kindly leave? No. Not until I get some answers about my sister and Lord. Miss Wang, needless to say, you're barking up the wrong tree. Ha! Huh. So you're in on this too, huh? We're investigating the disappearance of Lorda. She was fine when I saw her leaving Mr. Carrion's office last night. Yes, but she was kidnapped right after that. Look, Lorda was working for us. So was your sister. They were partners. Christy worked for the FBI? Mm-hmm. I don't believe you. It's true. Mr. Carrion allowed us to plant them in the tournament in order to investigate any possible connection between the applicants and the uh, Black Brigade. So why the hell didn't anyone tell me about this? I am a cop. Well, now you know. So just get out of here so we can continue with our investigation.
Excuse me. Are you Joe Kerwin? Yeah, well, it depends on if I owe you money or not. <laughs> I'm Victor Winslow, American Embassy. Hey, Vic, whatever it is, I didn't do it. <laughs> Don't get cute with me, Mr. Kerwin. I understand you're close to Katara Lang. Hey, I'm guilty of it, okay? Throw me in prison. Correct me if I'm wrong. You came to the Philippines on a tourist visa. You've overstayed your 59 days. Am I right so far? Well, you know, Mr. Winslow, it's funny because I have an appointment to take care of that tomorrow. Well, it's very funny also because I can throw your ass out of the country tomorrow. All it takes is a phone call, Joe. What is it that you want, Mr. Winslow? I want you to use your influence to persuade Miss Lang to stop meddling in our investigation of her sister's case. And you'll take care of my visa problems? That can be arranged. I'll do whatever I can, Mr. Winslow. I'm sure you will. Hey, hey! You all right? Hey, come on, it's not that bad, is it? Hey, come on, look. We're friends, right? Well, friends are supposed to talk to each other. It's the first time in my life. I don't know what to do. Sister, I never lost one of the family. I, I don't really know what it's like. Yeah, maybe you're pretty lucky. Yeah, well, maybe I am, but you know, maybe I'm not. So, what about you? Hey, but well, come on. I don't want to give away all my good secrets. They gotta stop telling you this, you know, because you know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna ruin my mystique, you know. Oh, yeah. <sighs> yeah, so, uh, I guess I better go. Don't leave me now. Finalists for the championship are Kat Lang from the USA against defending champion Bon Dol. You're dead, just like your sister. How long are you planning on keeping me here, Karina? Until tomorrow. What happens tomorrow? Tara Lang and Bontoc will fight over the championship. It's over, it'll all be over. What will be over? The revolution. To send the white man back to America. Your ambassador's the last straw. I can't imagine your pea brain behind all this. Who the hell are you working for? Be glad it's someone who wants you alive. I thought you were on our side. I am. I'm working two jobs these days. You're a fucking loser, Carino. One more time. What do you know about Sulu? Make her talk.
companion. You got the information? Yeah, but uh, give the balance to Alright, alright, alright. How much are we? I mean, 900, right? 950. Alright, alright, alright. I'm just kidding. Alright. 1000. You got it? Three four three Alejandro Street. Kawit Cavite. Kawit Cavite. Alright, you sure? Yeah, listen, I got Sulu's address. You did? What is it? 343 Alejandro Street, Kawit Cavite. K-A-W-I-T-C-A-V-I-T-E. Great. Catch you later, sweetie. Thanks. It's useless. She won't talk. Tyra! You may need her for insurance. Anything goes well. Now for tonight. The American ambassador will award the championship belt to the winner of the Kabate tournament. The entire nation will be watching. And millions shall witness the gold steel. You can't do this, Bani. I must. What if you fail? Then I fail in the name of freedom. Do you know where I can find Sulu? Great. I need to speak to Sulu. Is she here? Don't know. Go away. I'm Katara Lang, Christie's sister. I must speak to Sulu now. Wait. It's okay. Please come in. <laughs> Christy was a very good friend. I know. And that's why I need your help. Do you know who's behind all this? I don't know. She sent me a roll of film. But the next thing I know, she's dead. Where is it?
are you doing here? We need to ask you some questions. Does Winslow know you're here? Where's the film? I don't have it. And if I did, I certainly wouldn't give it to you. You're in no position to argue. Hand it over. What's so important about that film anyway? I don't think that's any of your concern. Why? Are you on it? You're trying my patience. Huh, really? Well, you're definitely trying mine. Did you kill my sister? I'm afraid you've overstayed your welcome in Manila. Goodbye, Miss Lang. <laughs> Why are those men after you? I don't know. It's about the film. What film? What's so important about that film? I don't know, but something's on it and everybody wants it. Well, it's getting late. We better go. 100 pesos, sir. What's your problem? It's freezing in here. You've got to let me out. I can't. Kirina's orders. Can't you just close the door? I don't know. Come on. Look at me. What am I going to do? What's your name? Davo. When was the last time you had a blonde, Davo? Tell you what. You do me a favor, and I'll do you one.
real problem here. Yeah, you're telling me, I know. Carino's in charge of security at the arena tonight. Well, can't you call there? Can you call ahead? Can you warn him? Can you do something? That'd be too risky. Might tip Carino off that we're onto him. So tell him what he might do. Sir, this is not a joke. Someone's gonna get hurt. You gotta do something now. Do you understand? Announcing the ladies Kovari Karate Championship bouts. To my right, a newcomer from the USA, the challenger, Miss Cat. Yeah. My left, the defending champion from the Philippines. Proud to announce our special guest, the man who has donated the championship belt and will award it to the winner of tonight's fight, the United States Ambassador, Ambassador George Franklin. Yeah! Don't worry, he'll be here. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the fight we've all been waiting for.
all right? Cat, it's all right. So, where are we going? Around the world. <laughs> but I have a plane to catch. We'll go faster. <laughs> You're nuts. And you're crazy about me. I should never have met you. Didn't I tell you we're gonna be great friends? Woo! <laughs>